we are going to write cosine of 4x in terms of cosine x. And to do this, we have two ways. The first way is we can go ahead and break down 4x as 3x plus x, or maybe 2x plus 2x, and either way, we can just go ahead and use the angle sum formula for cosine. But another way is we can look at the 4x as 2 times 2x, so that we can use the double angle identity for cosine, all right? And it will be slightly quicker in a second way. So let me write this down as cosine of 2 times 2x, like this for you guys, all right? And as you can see, we have the 2 times this angle, and the angle here is the 2x. And we will be using the double angle identity for cosine. Once again, we have three versions, right? And keep in mind of the direction. We want everything in terms of cosine x at the end, right? So the first thing I want to use is, this is the same as 2 times cosine square of the angle, which is the 2x, like this, okay? And then minus 1. Once again, 2 cosine square of whatever the angle is, and then minus 1. This version of the identity, it has only cosine, so that's why I want to use this. Okay, we are technically almost done, because as we can see, this is cosine squared, and then inside is unfortunately a 2x. And let me just do this step for you guys. This is the same as saying 2, and remember this is the power, which means something inside and then to a second power. And the things inside is cosine of 2x, like this, right? And then at the end, we have that minus 1. And look at, this is cosine of 2x. And once again, we have to use the double angle identity for cosine of 2x. Which one can we use? Well, pretty much the same one as earlier. But this time, be careful. Let me first write this down for you guys. 2 and then parentheses and then a square, and perhaps also the minus 1 at the end. Looking at this as cosine of 2x, and you know the angle in this case is just the x, right? It's just the x right here. Let me just emphasize, it's just the x right here. That's the angle. Earlier, the angle was 2x because we have that 2 in front already. This time, the angle is just x. And the identity that we're going to use, the version, is that this is the same as 2 cosine square of this angle, which is just x, and then minus 1 at the end, okay? So this is what we have. And now, uh, we should technically multiply things out and then combine the terms, and we should do as much work as possible, right? So to do that, I have to take this and then square that, and I will do that on the side for you guys. So this part right here, which is the same as, let me write it down as, 2 cosine square x minus 1 times 2 cosine square x minus 1. And then we'll do the FOIL for this. So this times this, 2 times 2 is 4. Cosine square x times cosine square x is cosine to the fourth power x. And then we'll continue. This times this, it's just the negative version, right? Minus 2 cosine square x. And then this times that, same thing. So minus 2 cosine square x. At the end, minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1. And we can combine like terms. So we have 4 cosine to the fourth power x. This and that can be combined. Negative 2, negative 2 is negative 4. And then keep the same term, cosine square x. At the end, we have that plus 1. All right? This right here is this. And we still have that 2 in the front. So let's write it down as this equals to 2 parentheses of this. Namely, we have 4 cosine to the fourth power x, and then minus 4 cosine square x, and then plus 1. And this is it. We squared it this already. I did the work right here for you guys already, right? And then minus 1 at the end. And you know the deal. We still have this 2 in the front. So distribute, distribute, distribute. So we see 2 times 4 is 8, and then we keep this, right? Cosine to the fourth power x. And 2 times this is negative 8, and then cosine square x. 2 times 1 is plus 2. And don't forget to bring down the minus 1. At the end, combine the 2 and then minus 1. So this 2 stays the same for now. 
8 cosine to the fourth power x and then minus 8 cosine square x and then 2 minus 1 is plus 1. This is it. Everything is in terms of cosine x even though sometimes you have the powers but remember this means cosine x and then to the fourth power. This means cosine x to the second power. This is it, cosine of 4x.